been stressed for so long So stuck in my own way So I'll enjoy this moment It's the day that the Lord has my shower but it came in like Christmas so let's see can't smell nothing oh and this is La Tapas is a Nebras or Nebras hmm alright Cute bottle. I love the black and gold. I really don't smell nothing. Okay, let's see. Chat. Hmm. I smell a lot of vanilla and musk in this, but kind of smells like something I already got, and then kind of like a cleaning supply. Hmm. I don't know, y'all. It's cooling down. It's getting sweeter. I gotta deal without it. So that's that. Let's see if I can tell what notes are in it. Let's see. And this one. Okay, this is the Nebras. So, it's supposed to have, yeah, that's the cocoa I'm smelling. It's supposed to have, the top notes are, you can see it here, are red berries and mandarin. The heart is vanilla, cacao, 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 however you want to say it, cocoa to me. And rose. And it has tonka bean, amber, musk, and sugar. That's why I bought it, really, because of those last, those bases. But, um, I don't know. I'm not blown away about it. I'm probably going to send this back, honestly. Yeah, I think I'm going to send this back. I'm going to send this back. And I don't have a bottle no more, so I can't send this back. I probably would have sent this one back, too. Um, it smells cute. It's all right. I'm kind of pushing my Tupac rock for real. Um, maybe I haven't worn it enough. But um, definitely smell the cherry and the plums and the berries in that one. And so... I, I could have did without this one. It, it wasn't what they said it was. At least not to me. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. What I just did. Hold on. Y'all know I'm the queen of the mix. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. And I don't know what made me grab that one. Hold on. Hold on. I think I just did something. Because I'm like, I probably would never wear this by itself. Oh, yeah. Okay. 
I'm a genius. I'm a freaking genius. Oh, it's doable now. So she ain't gonna go back. I don't know what made me grab this, but mm -hmm. I'm gonna have to mix these. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's doable. Yeah. Now it's, it's all right. I could have did without it though. All right, see y'all later. Good morning, y'all. I am up super early because I just feel like I need to go get, I'm just, I need, I need to go get me a laxative or something. This new medication that my daughter has me on is definitely not working. I feel backed up. I feel bloated. I feel all kinds of stuff, y'all. So, like, get me something in the morning so I am in Walmart. So, yeah, on a Saturday morning, and all I want to do is clean the bed, but I just feel uncomfortable. Good morning, I just feel uncomfortable and just backed up. Like, oh, I can't even describe it, but I'm gonna go in here and see what we can get and hope it can work because I got that wedding tonight. So, hopefully, I can pass something. Sorry, this is TMI. But Head back and pass something in a couple hours. Good morning. Good morning. So, let's go see what we can find. Yeah, now this one made no sense. This is what the chick gotta do. Oh, downside of this surgery, man, for real. So, I'm going to spend $27.74. I use my HSA card. And it didn't do the bloom, the magnesium citrate, or the, um, the drops. So, yeah. I was about to spend no extra money. I was going to use my HSA card, so, okay. Oh y'all, desperate times call for desperate measures, child. I want this stuff to start working immediately, okay? I just feel like I just need it. Y'all, it's so bad. This back smell like that. Mm -hmm. Walmart, that smells ew. Let me get that out of get it out of my car. Y'all, I'm so desperate. This how it is. Those who get it, get it. Especially when you don't have weight loss surgery and like that stomach and the bowels ain't on the same page, baby. It's so miserable. I mean, I feel heavy. I feel so heavy and so bloated. And I'm like, I don't know if I'm dehydrated. I'm not eating enough. That nothing is just being produced. Like, I don't know. Yeah, I'm so desperate because I hate cherry anything when it comes to medicine. I they ain't have the mint kind. I feel like this gonna make me even more nauseous. But I got some duck lats. I needed to up on my gas as I noticed. Like I haven't really had gas like that. I just mainly had nausea, but I always try to keep these just in case my stomach got acting up. But pain, my back is killing me, y'all. My back, my shoulders. I can't wait to get this stomach and these this darn chest off because like it's like at another level and it's so funny that doctors don't even want to prescribe uh-huh medication like that now probably if i told my primary he'll like he'll really try to help me out but he know like this is one thing that i probably have to go through because of, like the pain and like losing the weight and like everything is just becoming too heavy for me to carry like that um like the stomach the extra skin the flap the chest like everything so but they probably only prescribe me like tramadol and i don't take tramadol like because it don't do anything for me tramadol or naproxen or something like that i'm like this is naproxen okay i'm better off going in the store and getting it like for real for real um so like i'm like they try to prescribe me that i ain't, ain't got time for that like i'm in real pain over here and it's not like i even try to pop pills i try my best to like go without it and not 
take medicine like that. But baby, the way this back and stuff is set up, how am I popping it open? I don't need to pop this open. I need to take this turn. And I got some Tylenol. I heard this one probably works a little better because it's the arthritis one. It's turning to 50 milligrams just in case y'all the leaves don't work because Tylenol regular strength or extra strength wasn't working for me. I'm getting no relief. Y'all, I'm desperate. So we finna chug this down. We finna chug this down. I hate cherry. Ugh. I'm nauseous already. Ugh, and I'm wasting it for myself. I am nauseous already. This junk better be ready to go by the time I make it home. I kind of want to take another one, but I'm scared. I just needed to work. Kind of scared. I might have to take another one, y'all. I'm sorry. That's how bad I feel. Lord, let it work before this wet in the night. I'm gonna take it out for puff. Anyway, y'all, yeah, it need to burn by the time I make it to this house. See y'all later. Oh, while I'm waiting, y'all, I had got another um cockroach, and I think this one is a little. I think this is the time for dupe because I ain't spending no time. Mm -hmm. I think that's what it is. It is. So I heard about a time for bitter peach. So this is the dupe by Alhambra. And it's called Bright Peach. And I heard like um I was reading somewhere, maybe it was on TikTok, that they had to recall all these fragrances. So I actually wanted to buy all of them in case like they smell good. But I just went ahead and went with the bright peach. Cause I wanted to um smell them like if like I think they had like it was either like a lawsuit or something where they had to stop the production of them. And I noticed like with that Libre, they had to change the name because it was just too close to the real thing. I think it was called Libra or something like that. Um, So I would humble be trying the people and I guess the people don't like it. But I'll tell you one thing, that Libra smells, um, not Libra, it's called Leone now. It smells like that darn um, Libre, I tell you that. So this is it. It comes in a bottle like this. It is so bright peach. It really is peach. So that's it. Okay. Y'all, like they got the bottle down and all oh, like the time for it. That is craziness to me. Now do it smell like the bitter peach? they playing it's definitely giving me Tom Ford vibes I ain't even sprayed it yet I've smelled a lot of the other Tom Fords and I just always saw like at a time and it probably because because my sense has changed the other Tom Fords they were like I think it was like too strong or too masculine for me um but that was like maybe two or three years ago but my my sense have changed since then y'all they play. This Alhambra plays. Hold on. It's cute. Yeah, that's why I didn't want the tongue for it. I don't know. Maybe I gotta cool down. 
I definitely get some hints of the peach in here. But it must have like that leather or a tonka or something in it. I wonder what's all, what the notes are. Of course they don't have it on here. But it is still got a little masculine scent in it. But it does have a hint of the peach. And if you know what the regular like Tom for it smells like. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I don't need this one. Just like I need the Tom for it. But this this smells very mature. If you're a mature girl. Not a mature girl, but you like mature fragrances. Like you like that sexy grown up stuff like with a little bit of masculine with a little hint of the feminine to it. Smell is fancy. But it definitely reminds me of one of my older friends. She's a bad baby. Baby is bad to death, okay? And she used to love, you know, you she still love her some Tom Ford. She actually made me upgrade my fragrances when I met her because yeah, this smells like something she will wear for real. Um, she's a bad baby. Don't look her age and nothing. She is in her late 50s, baby. When I tell you mama is bad, I love her to death. She is the epitome of what class, luxury, <laughs> everything else looks like, walks like, talk like, all that. She is baby. Baby is bad. She is a bad lady and gorgeous chocolate woman. Just commands. I like to give people their flowers and every chance I get, I, I tell her she is gorgeous and beautiful because she is. And it's just not the way she dressed, baby. Bad. I mean, bad down. Fashion new. Fashion what? And she from New York. So y'all know them New Yorkers be on a whole nother level, child. But, um, Hey, Sister Peasley. Hey, girl. Um, But, yeah, she is. She made me step my game up. Because I used to think I was wearing some stuff. It's faster for the perfumes and everything, child. But, and that's why I say it's good to be around people that are more well-versed than you. That are experiencing life and other aspects of life than you. Um, They know certain things that you don't know because, like, they elevate you and it's always been love from day one that i met her like makes you um want to step your game up educate yourself more um look at certain things like get involved with certain things a little more i like to surround myself with people that are in other arenas in life than me because it makes you elevate and we all winning like we used to work together y'all this is a whole story we used to work together we were the only two black women in my department and baby when i tell you they hated us and probably hated her you know but they did they hated her even more just because of the way that she looked and the way that she carried herself and i say that's a darn shame because they missed out on a great opportunity to have a friend for life because that's exactly what i got all these years later and I love her for that. I love her for that. I love her for always being her from the first time that we met. We just instantly clicked. She was beautiful then. She's a beautiful soul now. So I appreciate her. And every chance that I get, I try to tell her and let her know. Um, but anyway, y'all, let me get on to this house. Appreciate the good friends and the good people in your life. The genuine people in your life. Because they are so hard to come. All right. I don't know, y'all. Bitter peaches in the house. It smells expensive. Oh, she smells expensive. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. we might have to keep her. It smells expensive in here. Ooh, ooh. I'm gonna see how long it lingers because, like, that Libre. I gotta stop calling it Libre because it's not Libre. It lasts. It really lasts. Okay, but y'all, what I was saying, appreciate the good people in your life. Um, appreciate the genuine people in your life, y'all. I promise. Um, one little quick little part of our testimony for real, our friendship. She was the first person and the only person to tell me 
straight up to my face and i appreciate her so much for this and then like she turned around she was like no i appreciate you for listening she told me that i was getting too big i was too big and she gave it to me in love she's direct. y'all know the new yorkers they're direct they are very direct but she gave it to me in love and i received it in love and it made me stop and pause and be like yeah i am and that helped me along with my journey like i was i wasn't starting to think about it like that but i did i didn't realize how big i had gotten since she had met me like probably since she had met me i know for sure i had probably unpacked on maybe whew, probably 50 pounds probably over the course of some years over a few years it wasn't even like a long span but probably 50 pounds probably well i think yeah maybe like 40 i know for sure probably like 40 um so it probably was 50 so for sure 40 pounds and i just appreciate her so much for that like coming to me in love and telling me hey what's going on you getting too big you don't pack on too much weight you need to lose some weight and i thank her for that i thank her for being real enough with me and caring about me enough to even tell me that because nobody else around me said it and y'all i just posted a video earlier this week and i'm like i cannot believe how big i was and nobody ever told me i don't know if they ever said it to somebody else or said it to themselves but they never told me that I was that big and a lot of people like well we didn't realize that we didn't know that you were that big until like we look at pictures and videos now that you're you're posting like literally I had my face was so round and just like so big I had no neck none of that like y'all even feel strange like to have like my chin and stuff not touching my chest because like a lot of times I'd be like doing this I find myself doing this and I'm like it's because I have the neck now. Like, I have all this air in between, y'all. It's so weird. If you've never been there, those who get it, get it. So, looking back on some of those posts, I'm like, I am so glad and so happy that I listened and I took it seriously. And I put me first and I started to check on me and put me first and heal myself from the inside out. And that's what this journey really has been about, like a healing journey, um, a rebirthing journey. That's what it really has been. So that's why I appreciate the people in my life that has really stayed solid with me through it all. Like, it's just so hard to come by good gene with people. And then even some people, they may have good intentions, but sometimes the season in your life is up and it's no shade or anything towards them but sometimes you elevate you move on and seasons change but i appreciate the people who are still a part of this journey with me all right y'all let me go hopefully by the time i get to the house everything will be good and moving and flowing all right y'all see y'all later Cool me out, Jesus, because this is just ridiculous. 
know it's coming on. Yeah, it's coming on, but ain't nothing blowing out. And then, like, it sounds like at first it'll come on and then it keeps going out. And then, like, it's just been nothing the past week or so. Like, I can tell, like, it's on, but ain't nothing coming at all. So, I don't know what the hell. Oh, the fan ain't blowing. It wanted to wait till I was ready. Oh, y'all, it is so hot out here. It is too hot. Oh, I'm gonna power I ain't drunk a power A in so long because. Hold on, I'm gonna put this phone up because it's getting hot and my phone about to die too. But, baby, whatever I gotta do, if I gotta sit in this, in this car to get this air fixed, that's what we're gonna do. But the first thing I tasted was salt. And it just reminded me why I stopped getting these for a little minute. But I'm so hot and need to drink something. And it's cold. So we good. Alright, see y'all later. Hopefully by then, I'll be blowing some air. Nah, I'm telling you. And just like that, we got here. Yeah. Fifteen, maybe fifteen minutes. Yeah, get a three. And we good. Cause we gonna have we to cut that bell in anyway. Oh, Thank you, Jesus. Okay, but I must say so myself. These brows are on point. Best brows I did in a minute. dress again definitely will see the dress again just don't know when you're gonna see it but you will see it because this thing was banging so let's see what else i can come up with oh that would have been so sexy so cute all right y'all got a spot right there y'all probably can't see it but i can so yeah I ain't gonna even do it like that. Y'all, they're so cute. Y'all will see it again. Alright, y'all. We have some business. I'm just, I'm just gonna go with it. This is not appropriate to me. For the wedding, then the other dress was. Y'all, I'm gonna get this one for the wedding. Because I'm gonna be wearing this. Y'all, I'm gonna get this one for the wedding. 
Sorry for the details.
<coughs> can you to be your lawfully wedded husband, to love, honor, and support them, to share their dreams and aspirations, and to create a life filled with love and laughter? I do. Okay, first, and if you'll please repeat after me, why you place this ring on Andrew's finger. With this ring, I promise to cherish you, inspire you, and be your constant companion on this journey called life. With this ring, with this ring, I promise to love you, I promise to love you, support you, support you, and laugh with you, and laugh with you through all our days, through all our days. Sweet parents, as husband and wife. You may now sew your kiss, your vows with a kiss. The bottom of my heart, thank you so much for everything and making our dreams come true. Love you.
the wedding and um, on my way home. It was a really, really nice wedding. I had a really, really, really good time. It was just really nice to see that. Somebody who never thought they would get married. Somebody who never thought they would have children. Happen in the same year. Isn't that crazy? Surprise. Pregnant. Surprise. Getting married. Well, she got proposed to before then. And boom. There goes the baby. So, it was um, encouraging to see. It was a nice, good time. A nice good time, but I am gonna get home, y'all. I look good, and sometimes you just gotta step back and look at yourself and know that you look good, baby. This green on me and this chocolate skin of mine that the Lord done blessed me with, baby. It's hitting. I look good, I felt good, I had a really nice time. It was just really, really nice. So, this is the first time ever in my entire life I saw anybody at this house. Ever. Ever. I remember when they built this house and it's just been, baby, is you gonna go? Can you even go? No. Go ahead. It's just I didn't even know black people lived there. I don't know if they lived there or what. But y'all, this house, I remember when they built that house years ago when I lived here. And I have never seen anybody in that house ever. Ever, ever, ever. That's wild. And they having a big old party. Yeah, but anyway, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to end this night. We're going to end this weekend. That medicine is starting to work. I got to go to the bathroom. Thank you, Jesus. So, y'all, I am, um, I'm loving my progress. I'm seeing my progress, y'all. Like, even, like, with vlogging today, like, I had my camera out. I had my phone out because I didn't want to bring my camera in there because I had a small purse. Um, and people were asking me, like, do you vlog? I'm like, yeah. And then, like, one of my friends was telling people, she vlogs. I'm like, oh, Lord. But then, like, but that, sh that shyness, like, having my phone out, having my camera out, it was, like, it was gone. It was gone. So, I was just doing my thing and, you know, just having a good time, like, really, like, trying to capture the moment and just, like, do certain things like that. But, y'all, I, I was looking good. And I was feeling good. It was a nice vibe. It was beautiful. It was beautiful. It was intimate. And of course, they turned up. Of course, they did. It's only right for her. Um, but I'm just happy to see how God has blessed her. He has blessed her not only with a husband, but with a child. Like, for something that you would never think that would happen to you. And then God gives it to you in an instant. And it happened in the same year, y'all. Like, catch this. It has something that you never thought would happen to you or for you happened all in the same year and we're just in april <sighs> wedding parenthood all in the same year god is amazing y'all hold on to the promises of god even if you don't even see yourself doing something or being something like if it's already written in the cards for you for god to to bless you in that area of your life or to bring you to that place in your life you best to believe that it is going to happen and sometimes it happens all of a sudden all of a sudden god's words gonna stand true and his promises are yes and amen and he is not a man that he should lie so baby please believe if god said it that's it it's gonna 